and the battery's dead. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting vlogmas. <laughs> Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Blair Lamb. My battery is flashing that it's dead so we'll see how long this lasts. Welcome to Vlogmas 2023. I am so excited. This is going to be a very Disney centric, Disney themed Vlogmas because next week we leave for eight days in Disney. So Disney packing vlogs and getting things ready for our trip. And then obviously each day of our trip and coming home, like all of that will be housed within Vlogmas. So my vlogs this year will be on like about a one week delay so that while I'm away, when I'm not able to edit that, um, when I can come back and then I'll like, you won't miss a day. Does that make sense? So that's what I'm thinking. I have a lot of things I want to say to you. I'm a little bit sick. I have like a light, light sinus situation going on. Um, but I think I'm going to be okay. <laughs> I, I know that I'm going to be okay. Um, I have a lot more that I want to talk to you about, about what's been going on the past few weeks. However, my battery is dead. So I'm going to go charge my camera and then we will reconvene here shortly and discuss the rest of it. But welcome to Vlogmas 2023. Okay, it's been a few hours since I last checked in with you and um, I'm at home cooking. I am sauteing some sweet potatoes because my friend Rachel, who lives across the street, invited us over for dinner. And um, she, she uh, and I said, can I bring something like maybe a salad? Because she was, I think they're making beef tenderloin or something. I thought a salad sounded good with that. And she said, sure. So we're making like a good, like a hearty salad. It has like sweet potatoes on the bottom and then the... Um, Riley made homemade vinaigrette, homemade sourdough croutons, goat cheese. Like, it's going to be a really good salad. So we're having that this evening. My mom also sent – she has done this every year since I was in college. Um, she used to send me during finals because my birthday is next Saturday, I think. It's next week. Um, and so she always sends me this, like, Harry and David gift tower, which has been kind of deconstructed because we were opening it up. But – has like the Harry and David moose munch in it and the little mixed nuts. Let's see what else. It has these, these little truffles are so delicious. And then you can see the flavors on this side. And the flavors on that side. Um, what else? Oh, and then of course the, the best part of all from Harry and David are their pears. I love these pears so much. They are, peaches and pears are my favorite fruits. And um, I think part of the reason why I love them both so much is that they're, you don't get good pears and peaches all the time. You only sometimes get good pears and peaches. And these are the best of the best. Um, so that's that. So we're gonna go over there in a hot minute there. Riley, would you like to say hello? It's day one of Vlogmas. Oh, happy Vlogmas, everybody. Happy Vlogmas to all who celebrate. Um, I said this is going to be a Disney-centric vlogmas. Yeah, it really is. It I really was thinking is. about all of our advent calendars and the elf because we're going to be gone for like eight days. I know. How to, I don't know how to handle that. I mean, the elf. We'll be very happy. The elf could travel with us, but the advent calendars. Mm, have to figure that whole situation out. Um, this past week has been a lot. It has been. Um, Bless you. A little bit heavy and just a lot. So on Monday, it's Friday now. On Monday, it was the one year anniversary of my cousin Meredith's death. So if you've been following along, I talked about this quite a few times last year. Um, she was a little bit older than me, married with two sons, just like a vibrant, healthy individual and just a really unusual circumstance occurred and she passed away and it was extremely sudden and extremely tragic and unexpected and just horrible um so this this weekend last year i was flying to north carolina to attend her funeral and i was still nursing colin at that time so i was like i had a breast pump in tow and it was it was just awful like it was 
by far the most shocking and awful thing I've ever been through. And then going to the funeral, of course, it was this big church that was completely packed out. And people, we were all, I mean, sobbing. It was, it was like collective trauma, sadness, awful. So that was this Monday. And um, I was home with the kids most of the day on Monday. And so after I got them to bed in the evening, I was just like cleaning up the kitchen and I feel like I finally had a moment to process that it had been a year and I just sobbed and sobbed and sobbed and like hyperventilated sobbing cleaning the kitchen. Um, I think it was cathartic to cry like that, but I still can't believe it's been a whole year and I was at the Explorium, the Children's Museum with my friend Ann yesterday and we were crying. You know, it just, it never, I, it will, it will sting to some degree forever. Um, forever so there's a lot more to say about that but that was the beginning of our week that was on Monday and then throughout this week <clears throat> it's been kind of crunch time because we're about to go to Disney World and so um we have a lot to do before then it's also this is also like the week after Black Friday and that's my biggest sale of the year so I've been working a lot it's just been a lot kind of being juggled Riley's been working late a lot because he's got crazy orders coming in at this time of year that people want before Christmas time Mm, Colin's carrying what I know to be vases. Colin, that's fragile. Okay, put that down. No. no. Some good things that we have done um, are that we are in the midst of redoing Colin's room to be a big boy room. So he has big boy beds in there instead of his crib. So I'll have to show you that. And we're all decorated for Christmas. So I'll have to show you that. And yeah, there's like lots of good stuff going on. But this week has just been, I think, kicking off the week on an emotional start like that. I just never really fully recovered. So that is that. These sweet potatoes look amazing. Let me get some and show you. I love, love sweet potatoes in a salad. Yum. How good do those look? Okay. Well, that pretty much sums up my week. All right, I'm gonna put these in, I'm gonna let these cool and then um, assemble the salad and then I'll show you it. I threw together this little easy appetizer just with Ritz crackers, some cheese, apples, and pepperoni. And here's the salad that we made. So on the bottom, can you see, let's see if I can find a spot where you can see. All the sweet potatoes are on the bottom. And then we have like a spring mix and then um, avocado, goat cheese, diced strawberries, diced tomatoes. And then Riley made these um, homemade croutons out of sourdough bread. So like fresh homemade sourdough croutons. They are so stinking delicious. Can I get it to focus? Mm, there you go. Yum. So all of that plus his homemade vinaigrette that we'll bring and dress the salad once we get there. I think it's gonna be delicious. So we are at our friend's house across the street, Rachel and Elliot's house for dinner. And they just installed this incredible kids climbing gym. Where is this climbing gym from, Rachel? Uh, it's like well, anyway, I'll, if I can get the link, I'll link it below. Super fun. The kids love it. And then she has this powder bath. And she just, hello. She just installed this tile and it's peel and stick and it looks so good it looks so like realistic but she just did it herself peel and stick and she she has textured walls like me this is like all of texas pretty much has these kind of walls and look how good it looks she did it downstairs in her downstairs bathroom too so i'll have to show you that because that's black tile and she thinks it looks better down there but honestly i think it looks great in both locations and she has pretty art in here it looks really good. Um, Avenlur? Am I saying that right? Avenlur. This is, oh, it's on Amazon. It, it's cheaper on their actual website, and I got like 10% Oh, off. interesting. But there's freestanding ones. Oh, see, Pete, this is so fun. Yeah. Okay, I'll link it below as best I can. She also got this cute nutcracker. You've been getting cute stuff lately. Oh, good. <laughs> I know that that is a really good home goods find. I went yesterday. I didn't find anything that great. Let me see. What? Oh my goodness!
we were over here recently and she was putting her kids in the bath and she put on this projector in the bathroom and I was like that is so cool so she so sweetly got one for us to use with our kids Colin's having a great time with the train under the tree <laughs> it looks really pretty in here <laughs> okay we found the peel and stick oh my gosh it really is so pretty it totally works did you do it yourself yeah and it was Hopefully so easy so easy yeah wow very easy all right all right, I just came downstairs to her downstairs bath and this is the black tile um, that's down here. Well, it's the peel and stick, it's the same thing. I'll link both of them below. I cannot believe this. It just looks so, so good. I don't wanna be in this shot, <laughs> but I asked her if I could show this and she was like, yeah, of course. It really looks so pretty. <laughs> I'm a video. Oh. Uh we have this little space heater situation outside and the boys are grilling on the uh, big green egg, which is built into their outdoor kitchen, which is super cool. This is a, um, like a black stone, but it's the smaller one. That's cool. You having a good time? Uh, kind of cold, but we're just hovering around. It's there. a little, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Max, not very sure. You're doing a great job. Uh, is it a beef tenderloin? Yeah. Wow. There's a space. There's a space. Oh. You want some yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the potatoes? Yes, honey. I want to go on the egg sauce now. Okay, listen. I'm going to okay. just get the adults. Um, I snapped the string on the guitar last, I mean, the ukulele last time I was here, so I'm fixing it. But I also bought new strings for all for the whole thing because they're kind of warm. So I'm going to tune it and get it back to, back to normal. Yeah, I'll leave up famous ukulele songs. It's weird. Colin, what is that? Come Colin's big boy bed. So we're still getting the whole room together and I have some art here and the sheets and we have the mattress out there for the other bed. Um, but I just set up this one for the night. When I shared this with my Instagram subscribers that we had gotten his furniture and we were starting to get his big boy bed together, I was surprised by how many people asked whether we were moving both of our kids into this room. No, we are not. I just have always really liked the symmetry and the look of two twin beds in a room. And I also really appreciate having the extra space for someone to sleep, especially when my family comes to visit. My sister has three kids now. So when she comes to visit, we will need as many beds as possible. And actually these beds, I'll link them below and I'll link the sheets and stuff um, below as well. And then I'm gonna do a whole separate video about all the details of this room once we've hung up everything and it's all done. But both of these beds have the option for purchasing a trundle separately. So I've actually considered getting, I think I could only do one trundle, but that would give us three beds in this room, which would be really, really nice with um, having people come to visit, specifically, like I said, my family or anyone with kids, just having some extra, extra beds and room and whatever. So here's the art that I've gotten so far. I love this. Um, obviously with the sharks and the blue and stuff, it's sort of an ocean theme and Colin is definitely our wild child. So I just thought that was so appropriate. Stay wild ocean child. This is from Amazon. It was very affordable as far as decor is concerned. I thought this was really pretty. I know the lighting's not great right now because it's uh, late at night, but we just got home from dinner at our friends. Um, I thought this was really cute too. This is from Target and was also affordable as far as decor is concerned. This one was the best price of all. Um, it's from Home Goods and it was marked down to $12. So none of these like fully go. I'm kind of thinking like eclectic gallery wall kind of vibes um, might be kind of what I'm gonna do with all these pieces. And this is my favorite one. This is a picture that I took of Colin at the beach and 
I just like love it. Um, it's the it's a lake beach, which is why there's like trees behind it. But it just captures the essence of boyhood and Colin and just like an unplugged outdoorsy kind of childhood. And I just think it is precious. So I ordered this from Smallwood Home. I'll link them below as well. And it's a printed canvas that's been framed. So I'm thinking all of those options I'm go going to go ahead and put over here. And we don't have a dresser in this room and we won't because Colin's closet is absolutely enormous. We have more than enough space in there for all of his clothes and he will continue to have more than enough space in there. It's like as big as Riley in my closet that we share. Um, so I'm not worried about that at all. So I'm thinking like eclectic gallery wall vibes there. I don't know what the focus situation is. I'm so sorry. Above each of these beds, I did get a sconce down there. So it'll be like a mounted sconce, which I think will be really cute. I want to get some Roman shades that bring the, maybe a, a blue stripe down the middle or something. We actually have a piece of furniture coming in tomorrow that will fit right in this middle section here. It's like an extra wide, extra long nightstand and it's low to the ground. So I think it will actually look amazing there. And we have some lamps over here. I'm not sure if we're going to need lamps because we'll have the sconces. Um, I'm unsure on that completely. I think we're going to leave this wall that, you know, where you open up the door. I think we're just going to leave this blank. Eventually we'll update the uh, light fixture. And then on this wall, I want to do some like bookshelf floating shelves that we can put some books and trinkets and just little things on as well. So um, I had this all made up and then he came in and got really excited, but that's totally fine. It's his room. Um, these little sharp sheets were from Target. I think they're adorable. And this um, navy blue quilt, I should be doing this in the daytime, I'm so sorry, is uh, from Target. And then the duvet cover and the duvet filler are both from Amazon. And um, we have Amerisleep mattresses, which is the mattress that we have in our bed. And we just like love it so much. And then we have this Jack and Jill bathroom set up. So this is Colin's bathroom area. And then into here is the shared section. And I don't think I've showed you in here recently. Riley hung some hooks. And then I just bought yesterday at Home Goods this table. And then separate from the table, I bought these two baskets so we could fill them with like extra toilet paper, you know, whatever we would need, but they would be out of sight. And then I got that. I haven't taken the tags off anything. I just moved them in here as well as the um the bath mat here and uh, riley redid this tile to be this slate tile and then we had we had the rest of the floors except for literally this room all the other floors in the house were done before we moved in and then we have this big empty closet that i haven't even used yet and i think what i'm going to do for now until the kids get older and they need this space or want this space for their own stuff is i'm just going to make it the family linen closet because we don't have a great space for a linen closet and this is it is enormous i mean this is like goes all the way up to my shoulder it's very very deep and it'll be great so that's that and then i do think i've shown this that we hung this um the shower needs to be redone, something bad. But for now, it is functional. And uh, just to hide all of it, we have this little shower curtain. So I actually think this room looks really nice for what it is. It's hard to see the whole thing. Um, we could do for a new window treatment and some art above here. I'm thinking if any of the art doesn't work out in Colin's room, Specifically that gold rimmed one, I think would be really pretty hanging above that. So we might do that, but we have lots of space for guests in here. And then his little sink area, his big closets over here, and then back in here with his beds. And then we'll have the dresser and all that. So it's gonna be a really great setup, I think. And um, I think these beds can bunk. So eventually when we're not afraid of him launching off of it, I think we'll probably do that against this wall something like that. So it's going to be, I think, a really good setup for us for now. So this is Colin's big boy room so far. We just hung that banner just, you know, as we we're doing it. And this rug, I think, is from Wayfair. I got that for his nursery. Just love it so much. I'll be excited to show you it when it's all pulled together. We just got home from our friend's house for dinner, which was so fun. It's always so fun. And it's especially nice that they live so very close to us and that we can just like hop across the street and spend time together and then come on home and do 
the kids' bedtime routine. Riley's putting the kids to bed right now. Just like easy. It's so easy. Um, I would be remiss if I did not talk more about today's video sponsor. So today's video sponsor is Aura Frames. And I have talked about Aura Frames so many times here on my channel because it is a company that I love working with because I believe in this product. I love this product and I have gifted this product so many times and it's a gift that goes over just beautifully. So if you're unfamiliar, Aura Frames are Wi-Fi connected digital picture frames. So you can get all of those tens of thousands of thousands of thousands of photos and videos off of your phone and into your real life so that you can actually enjoy them on a day-to-day -day basis. We stink and love this thing. We love it. It is just, we have one and we enjoy it so much. Our kids enjoy it so much. They love looking at it and seeing our past trips and seeing their family members and extended family members and like they totally love it. We have also gifted it to my mother-in-law and both of my parents have one and one of my parents is in the main living room in their home and then the other one is in my dad's office and they both remark on it so many times. I shared about Aura Frames in a video a couple of weeks ago and I had so many comments of people saying that they had gotten one for their mother or their grandmother or their dad or somebody and that that person absolutely loves it. It's just such a good gift. It's not clutter. It's a digital picture frame so it only takes up the space of a picture frame it's small it's beautiful the carver frames have this mat which I totally love because it makes it look super realistic these frames are smart frames so when it's light outside they turn on when it's dark they turn off so that you're not having them running all of the time even just the cord on the frame is really beautiful it's like a rope looking cord you can add as many people as you want to add to the frame. So like on my parents' frame, my sister also has access, Riley has access, my husband. So we all add pictures from our phones to their frame. So they'll get fresh new photos all the time. You can also add videos with or without sound. There's a speaker so that you can get sound on your videos if you have someone in your life who would totally enjoy seeing those kinds of videos. I definitely think it's the best way to share photos of kids with grandparents especially but like I've been thinking about getting one for my sister because she's a photographer so she's taking pictures all day every day I feel like she would totally love it you really can't go wrong my favorite thing about it is the ease of use it is so easy if you're gifting this to someone who is not tech savvy then you can just get it all ready for them using the app and then they can just plug it in and immediately will start having photos of their loved ones show up if you're a little more tech savvy and you're buying it for yourself or for someone who is that person can go ahead and get it set up for themselves setup takes about 10 minutes start to finish very very easy just download the R frames app add in the photos and videos that you want they will stream right on on over here to your Wi-Fi connected digital picture frame. It's just such a good gift. It's such a good gift. Also would be a great gift for kids. Kids love to see photos of themselves and of people that they love and this would be such a fun thing to put in their room and then when it would be bedtime and lights would go out the frame would go off so it wouldn't be like distracting overnight or anything. I can't say enough good things about this. I feel like if you are looking for a gift for someone on your list who's hard to buy far you really might want to consider an aura frame. So this is the carver mat frame. I'm giving one of these away with today's video. All of the entry details will be linked in the, as you know, one of the first links in the more description, more info. It's late. What is the word? More info bar below the description box as to how you can win one of these. I think you would really enjoy it if you want it, or you could gift it to someone if you want it as well. Aura has shared a special offer with me for you. So if you use the code Blair, just my name, B-L-A-I-R, at checkout between now and December 31st, you will get $30 off your carver mat frame. So if you're looking for someone in your life, you could get a $30 off coupon with Blair. So make sure to check that out. Anyway, thanks so much to Aura for sponsoring this video. Love this product. So stinking much. I talk about it all the time. Everybody remarks on it when they come and see it in our home and the people that we've gifted it to absolutely love it. It's just a total win. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and round out this first day of Vlogmas. It has been so fun to jump back into these daily December vlogs. I think I already mentioned this earlier, but if I didn't or if it was unclear, 
this vlogmas is going to be a little interesting so it will be about like a week of more regular vlogmas vlogs and then it will be a week of disney vlogs because we are going to disney at the end of next week and so we will have all of those so because of that i'm putting all of these on by the time you see this it won't matter but all of this is going to come out on a delay so that i have more than enough time to edit it factoring in the dates that we're gone for our trip so that i'm not editing while i'm on vacation and i can just check in you know, with my family and enjoy that time together. So that's the plan with Vlogmas this year. I am very excited to be here. I love this time of year. In all the chaos of the holiday season, I just, I'm so, it makes me really happy. I, I love it super a lot. So very much looking forward to it. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave me a friendly comment below if you would like. I will see you tomorrow for day two of Vlogmas. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to enter the giveaway for the Carver Matte Frame from Aura. Bye!